Adopting or fostering a puppy can be so rewarding. Look at Kilo the pug, he's a foster failure. But there are questions you should ask yourself and the rescue organization. It's so important to get the right puppy to fit your lifestyle, your family and your home. Here are some questions to ask the rescue group, shelter or breeder before you adopt a puppy. Based on advice from experts, my own experiences with Kilo the Pug and my previous rescue dogs. 1. How and why did the puppy come into the shelter or rescue? How long has he or she been there? Do you have his or her full history? How old is the puppy or dog? Did the puppy come in with siblings or its mother? Do you know the breed or breed mix? What typical breed traits have you noted? Do you have any tips about the breed? Does the puppy have any medical or dental concerns or need medications? What has the puppy been eating? Food, treats, how much, how often? Has he or she been neutered or spayed? If not, will they be? Is the puppy up to date on vaccinations and tested for diseases such as heartworm? Since certain conditions such as kennel cough cannot be tested for, how long should I keep the puppy separated from other pets? Does the puppy have any behavioral issues or concerns? How should I deal with those? Do you know how the puppy is with kids, cats, dogs, strangers, vets, trainers? I know Kilo had issues with strangers and cats and other dogs. Can my children or pets meet the puppy before I commit to adopting? What are the grooming requirements? Can the dog be left alone? Is he or she crate trained? Where do they sleep? Are they house trained? How often do they need to go out? Do they give signals? Do they use pee pads? Does he or she wear a collar, a harness, a coat, boots? How are they on leash walking? What level of training do they have? Are they food motivated or toy motivated? Do they like to play? Are they microchipped? Do they know any tricks? Do they know their name? All puppies need love, care, play, exercise, socialization, training, grooming, food, water, and vet visits. However, different breeds tend to have different traits and need different amounts of exercise, different amounts of training, attention, food, grooming, and space. Some shed less, some shed more. Some are great with kids. Others love dock diving and agility. Pugs like Kilo love food, play, and cuddles. They don't like being alone. Being well prepared should make the adoption process much more successful for all involved.